what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel so in today's video i am taking a look at the lovely honda integra type r honestly i was kind of waiting for this car to be added you know what i would also like to see a new honda civic type r that would be insane like the newest generation who knows maybe in the future that might end up happening but if you guys are wondering this thing is going to be a tier one vehicle i'm not shocked that it is and the new GR86, which is coming out tomorrow as a video as well, is also going to be a street tier 1 vehicle. I'm going to get into more of why that is okay, and I would say a lot of people might have wanted these cars to be a tier 2, but to be honest, I would say they're going to be better as a tier 1. Don't rip my head off on that and hear me out for a second, but overall, guys, I would say the Integra Type R is a beautiful looking car. I love this vehicle's like overall design. Looking at the interior, you're also going to know those signature red seats, which is basically in all of them. I really do love the way these seats actually feel. When sitting in the FK8, which I do believe that was the previous generation Type R, I absolutely love that car so much. It was amazing inside of it. I also sat in the newest generation. I love that thing as well. But looking at the interior of this car right now, it's kind of like a time capsule. You're kind of sitting in this and you're like, wow, like look at the overall design of it. It was almost timeless in a way that it was like ahead of its time. Man, I should probably stop saying that. But nonetheless, though, this thing is also going to have no gas in it whatsoever, so definitely going to be an issue there. You will also see 8,900 miles on it, or I guess you could say that's going to be the, maybe that's the one above it with 53,000 kilometers. Regardless, though, I would say a lot of people are probably going to like this car, and I would say the biggest thing about it is it is most likely going to be a driver's type of car. I guess you could say like a cruising. Why is that truck still sitting there? All the other cars behind that truck drove around him. There you go, buddy. And nice. You got the death wobbles already. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, and I'm just going to admit this right now. We can all agree that the cars in Motorfest legit sound so much better than how they did in the Crew 2. Like, my goodness, the Honda Integra sounds absolutely insane. Now, as I did mention before, though, a lot of players are probably going to be upset that the Integra is going to be a Tier 1 vehicle. Now, I have to admit this right now, guys. I really do feel like it does make a lot more sense that it is. Now, a lot of people are probably going to be like, well, you know what, Block? Like, this thing should have been a Tier 2 vehicle. It would have been a lot faster. It's kind of slow. It's not that fun to drive. Like, why did they not make it a Tier 2? To be honest, I would say it would make a lot more sense as a Tier 1 vehicle because, let's be real, you are probably not going to be seeing an Acura most likely hitting 250 miles an hour. Also... I, for some odd reason, keep calling this thing an Acura, even though Honda is Acura because, you know, it's the same company. But nonetheless, though, even though this car is a Tier 1, I would still recommend trying this thing out, even if it is going to be a bit slower than you expected. And luckily, it still hits around 180 plus miles an hour, so, you know, it's not going to be extremely slow. Is it going to be doing 250? Well, no, but then again, I would probably never expect this car to actually hit that. And I really do feel like the Integra is more of going to be like a cruising type of vehicle more than like a racing. Like I feel like this is the kind of car you're probably going to jump on this game with with like three or four friends. And most likely squat up and just go cruise around the amazing Oahu Island. I feel like it's probably going to be more made for something like that than like you know racing all kinds of events and trying to be as fast as you possibly can with it. So I figured I would jump into one of the more open races here with the Integra. That way I can actually test out like its overall speed that way. Now, I'm also going to be on the level 5 difficulty with the AI, so that's always going to be a pretty interesting time here. But nonetheless, guys, my initial impressions of this car is I'm going to say it. It's not terrible. Is it going to be the new meta? Honestly, probably not because we do have cars like the Porsche that are most likely going to destroy it. But I wouldn't say this car is going to be like a terrible option for racing or something. Like, you probably could run this thing on PvP and do fairly decent with it. Are you most likely going to be breaking records? Well, I would probably say no on that because there's obviously going to be better cars for that. One thing I do find kind of funny though is this car does 191 plus miles an hour. Whereas something like the regular Honda Civic Type R does like 180 or so maybe like 185 and I have noticed when running that car in certain times in PvP that it is a bit slower and what's kind of insane about that though is even 10 miles an hour in a PvP event or even like a regular race like this one is going to make a bit of a difference like for example if you're going 175 and the person in front of you is doing like 190 even like 187 or something like that is going to actually make them faster 
which I would say a lot of players are going to be like, well, yeah, like 10 miles an hour is a difference. So it is kind of funny to think about something like that, that one car can fall behind. But one thing I'm going to admit right now, though, the Integra is going to have some really insanely good handling to it. Like, I love the way this car feels around corners, and it almost feels like it's basically, like, sucked into the ground, or at least it is gripping. Whereas sometimes cars kind of slide or, like, lose themselves a bit, or, you know, they might not feel that stable compared to some of the others. I really do like the way the Integra feels, though, even with these pro settings on it. Can it be improved a bit? Most likely. But in the current state, it's pretty dang good. Now, my final conclusion for the Integra, though, is I would recommend picking this car up if you guys have it. Now, keep in mind, though, it is going to be a season pass vehicle, so at least you can get it next week if you don't have it. Funnily enough, I don't really see a point of actually having the season pass, even though you get a car a week early. And then, you know, you don't have to buy it. But regardless, though, guys, I would recommend trying this car out. And if anything else, it is going to be great for cruising around the map. Is it probably going to be the greatest car in the Tier 1 category? Well, I guess more testing is going to have to be done. But one thing I can admit, the way this car does handle right now, it's definitely not going to be the worst by any means.